Alrighty, let's play this in full first. Okay, there's no sounds. I'm gonna bring this up a bit here. And there you go. Sit down assignment. So the first impression was that she feels a bit like a zombie with this upper part like this. I mean, it seems like someone that's really, really tired, which I get here. This is a nice clean silhouette. I like all of this. I like how there's that little move of the chair and bam. But I think where we could change a few things is compositionally, I think we can reframe and by we, I mean you, uh, things where it's maybe a bit more like that. We don't need that all that extra space. She is fairly in that region and you can potentially also bring it up a bit. So if I bring this up here and use the other drawing tool, it could easily be something this low so that there's room for the feet. A little bit of widescreen, there's enough room there. And let's change it to this again. That would be the first thing. I feel like it's just, just a bit low and we're really concentrating then on kind of a lower part with the feet cut off, which just feels a bit weird. That would be that. Pose-wise, I would try to find something where we still have a little bit of the shoulder and the neck visible. And I know it, it, this will take away from, I don't know what that is, that's supposed to be a head. <laughs> it takes away from the sleepiness, but maybe it's something where, where she could be maybe tilted sideways. There's just something, once we lose the neck and shoulder, it just feels like this oversized helmet, mask, costume thing on top of a body. And, and it, just, it just feels almost broken like that head, like with this, the neck would be here. You know, if you have the neck here, you have to be careful that it's not just from the upper part, right? So you have shoulders, the neck, usually there's the joint here, but then you have a controller here. So if you tilt the head, it just, just feels like it was not tilted this way with a little bit of lower neck, you know, that neck and the head. It just feels like that's the head. It was rotated where it's like this. The pivot is like, it's weirdly pivoting in, a, in an off way. I don't know if that makes sense, but this to me, it feels like we could have like a progression where we could maybe see the neck and then she gets into this where then she would almost be tilted this way. And then that can lead into adjusting here a bit and into that. It just feels like there's a table. Imagine there's a floating table and that head is just resting on this floaty table with a pillow until there. That to me is the biggest thing. Because I do like the steps. And I like, all again, all, all the things here. So to me, it's mostly the pose here. And then timing. It just feels all a bit slow. If I... Make this a bit faster. Let me just see. I know it takes away from the sleepiness, but I think what happens here is that I will go, this is 50% faster. You can go 50% faster and then slow it down a bit here, back to what you had. And then you could keep this. I would still start to speed it up a little bit here. And then I would wait here a bit longer for a boom. For a faster drop. Because right now, if you look at the steps, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's all very even in timing. So to me, it feels like when if she's faster here and then slows down here, it's like she got a hold of this. She can lean a bit. Then she slows down. Okay. Let me speed up again because now I got to do some more work. Oh, I'm almost ready. Oh, and plop into that. I think those variations in the overall speed is going to help us in, in timing. Again, it's just, it's us. It's, it's the royal we, as in you. And that's kind of that. Again, I like a lot in here. Watch out for this. This feels like the head is kind of going through the wrist. I can imagine it's lower here and the wrist comes up or the hand. And there's this dip where the forehead can come in. But it just feels a bit low. Like this is almost hurting your nose at this point. And we're also losing eyes so there could be something where you're a bit more like this where we see the eye it's for a nice expression or if you go this way you might as well go big and maybe like squeeze the nose up and the the, the cheeks and they're like a, a, a really squished face and really play that fact like oh i'm so tired of blah, 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 my face is on the table 
this is almost kind of a in between the two and just because i'm framing through this even this here feels like that neck is really broken where she would be up here this feels like if that like where is that that neck i can buy it here even this feels broken though so i would just go a bit higher and just rotate lower i think that we're getting into some broken yeah by now again this feels like a, a head dislocated this would be the body here i can kind of buy that one and from here on it's fine too all right that's kind of that so most little changes here and there in terms of posing with that some broader timing changes but i like what we have and then an overall reframe not like this but kind of a camera reframe and you can always you know start here ish and then at the end we are here and you do a little bit of pan and tilt to follow her at the very end and super picky if you want to polish this i don't know if these guys have controllers but if you pull the chair and and where is it here those wheels will rotate obviously not now but at the very end this would be a fun detail since you do have a bit of it seems like compression i'm just imagining this i don't know if you can maybe push that compression i mean if you do the thing of hold the bit and then plop down it would be nice to get maybe a bit of a stronger comp compression there in the chair and that is that thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whenever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you